How to Make Money from Home as a Teenager. So I have a lot to say about this. I wrote the book, How to Make Your Kids Millionaires. So from zero to 20 inside that book, it gives you step by step by step what you need to do to make more money and how to pay your kids never pay an allowance. So specifically, we're going to talk about three things. How do you transform chores into entrepreneurial ventures? And then how do they pay for them? The second thing is not only how do you diversify your income, how do you create what you want and your child wants as their monthly income? Let them determine, do they want 100 a month? Do they want 500 a month? They want 1000 a month. And as they get older, they're going to want more and more as they need it, things get more expensive, and they're getting ready to have big purchases as a teenager and a young adult. The last thing we're going to talk about is just financial literacy that they need to have, just the base literacy that you parents have got to do at home with your kid. So to do this interview today, I brought my daughter, Tristan, who's now 17 years old. And we're going to talk about how we transform chores into entrepreneurial ventures, because there are things like you know, having a maid business. So Tristan, talk about some of the chores that we do at home. And yes, we'll get to your online stuff in a minute. <laughs> During the winter, I like to, I don't like it that much, but I shovel snow off the driveway because it's a task everyone needs to do. And throughout the whole year, I'm doing laundry, dishes, and washing our cars. Yep. So again, a lot of you would look at those and say, well, that's just what they need to do as an allowance. So again, we're going to get to how do you diversify your income and actually make the amount of money you want based on the chores you want to do. So that's the offline. So let's get to online. Some of the other things that I know you can do at home, and I've had a lot of families do it, is they literally almost do like an internal garage sale, yeah. right? So Poshmark to what are the online like stores could we sell? Facebook so? Marketplace. Facebook, Craigslist. So go through your houses. I mean, people have made six figures just cleaning at their house, putting it online. And as far as other chores and how do you diversify your income, you all know because of this book, I don't <laughs> I don't believe in paying your kids an allowance. Like, so why don't you like an allowance? Well, it teaches me that I need to work for my money. I put in the time and I get money back from it. Versus we make a list of tasks of and they're age appropriate. They say, I mean, my kids have been doing this since they were three and four years old. So as little as, you know, watering a plant, helping take out trash. I mean, even just like more than just picking up the room, that's kind of because they live there, they have to do that. But diversifying your income as they get older is, you know, looking at the tasks and then they start negotiating. So of all your chores, what do you think you get the most money for? Because of I'd have to pay for it anyway. Washing the car. Yeah. Yeah. Washing the car. And most of you that do car membership. I'd rather pay her. And again, this part of the principle is just keeping the money in the family. And so any tutoring, babysitting, extra stuff that she does, that's what she's doing. But you really can design your income to whatever level you want. I mean, think about it. A thousand dollars a month is only two fifty a week divided by five days. Yeah. You can easily make 50 bucks a day all of you. So before we go to our last point, which Tristan's going to talk about financial literacy and key points, I want you to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Click that notification button so you're here five days a week. So we're family friendly, five years old and up can be on this channel to learn and you're going to be learning more from uh, my kids as they uh, come along into this. So Tristan, talk about the key financial literacy points that you know are most important for you. Every teen should know that you have to set a clear financial goal for each month. Decide how much you want to earn and then base your activities to meet that target. Then you have to keep a journal to track your progress, record your earnings, and reflect on what worked well and what didn't work so well. And then you must learn basic financial skills such as saving and learning how to reconcile your account to avoid mistakes and grow your wealth. Yeah. And so one of the things that uh, they've started to do as teenagers is, yes, they get a debit card and they get a credit card. Yes, the credit card's attached to me, so she helps increase my credit score. But very soon, she will be 18 and will be getting her first credit card on her own in her own social security number. So all of you, keep financial literacy and keep just focusing. This summer, you have so many opportunities to make as much money as you want. You have to do it. So if you have any questions, you go to asklaurel.com, A-S-K-L-O-R-A-L, and we'll teach you how to make money. We also have uh, millionaire intensive tickets. They're in the description below. And that is once a month. So we bring your kids and we do three hours of a marketplace. I mean, she knows when she was a uh, offline with me at uh, stages, she wouldn't come ask mom for money. She would go sell something in the room. So bring your kids to the summer to sell stuff. What was your favorite thing to sell before we uh, wrap up this one? Breath mints, breath spray. <laughs> that was my little business for like 
four or five years. Is so she, if uh, she wanted to make a hundred bucks, she had to go out and sell it. And she did 50, 50 with the woman who actually had the inventory and she'd make her money and go do whatever she wants for the rest of the day. So your kids can do this too. Bring them here to the channel and grab the tickets in the description below. Again, ask Laurel, A-S-K-L-O-R-A-L, ask a question, make a request. We'll be back tomorrow.